welcome to my channel. Let's talk about it. Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. So, all comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only, where we discuss celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget, the best way to support the channel is to like, comment, and subscribe. So let's talk about it. It's being alleged that, that it's unfortunate, but it's being said that Nia Long has claimed that she slightly knew months before what was going on and she has decided to move out and she moved out two weeks ago. Something the K's and the J's can learn. Man cheat, you leave him alone, you move on, you do something different. Now mind you, she never spoke about it. It's being alleged it was reported from the Boston, Boston Celtics. So here and there. Well wishes to Nia Long. It's a tough situation. It's being alleged that her fiance cheated with a staff member and it they found out. So of course, people know you can't mess with the staff member. There's many women out there. Why mess with a staff woman? You're going to be found out. So I don't know why men cheat and it's a 15, 30 minute thing and it it it, it messes with your career. You now don't have a fiance. It affects your child, but men sometimes don't think because it's just for the moment. But here nor there, we don't know how, I don't know how long he dated the girl, how many times they hooked up. I don't care. They hooked up. It affected his job. And he is out of the season for 2022 and 2023. So the question is, sir, was it worth it? Well wishes to Nia Long. Many people are saying how is it that a Beyonce, a Nia Long, and a Halle Berry can be cheated on? I'll still take the looks because what woman don't get cheated on? It has nothing to do with the woman and how beautiful she is. It has to do with the man feeling like he needs someone to feed his ego. And if you look at him a certain way and he's feeling a certain way, go in a closet, go in a bathroom, go get a hotel, whatever. It's a moment for him. Sometimes men don't think long term and what it could do and affect their job many men are scared from this moment many men that have cheated and their wife may not know are scared because they're thinking wow they just blew up his spot if my wife find out i've cheated i'm gonna lose everything house cars everything's gonna shift and she could leave me too some people don't care about people's feelings they only care about the feelings for the moment so men learn something from what this man has done. And then there's other men that saying there are coaches that are in the league that are still doing this. And they still hooked up with that person even when this came out. There's other people that have cheated and it hasn't came out. Well, here nor there, we don't know. And it's being alleged the lady is also married. But he's yeah, he has a fiance. Well wishes. Well, it's just many people are speaking out about it. Being with you guys about this, but I'm off until next week. But I definitely want to touch on this Nima Udoka situation. We just saw the year, a year suspension was just handed down by the team for an inappropriate, consensual, sexual situation with a female that worked in the organization. I've been in the league for a lot, played in the league for a long time. Anyone who played in the league could tell you this is a very common situation this is not new news for people who've been in the league or even around organizations i've seen it from owners to executives to coaches to players to trainers to therapists to dancers to pr ladies like this is not uncommon and to just bring some context to it the nba just suspended sarver for all the he did and he got a year too. So you're trying to tell me what Robert Sarver did. He's chopping it up on ESPN with you guys about this. But. So here and there, well wishes. It happened when you think it won't be you. 
this is telling other people you better get rid of that situation. So whether, and I told you, many people feel like other people are still doing and have done it. And this has been something that's been happening for years from coaches to managers. Here and there, they choose to put a limelight on him. Choices were made. Everyone, focus on healthy relationships. You have to tell your fiancé, boyfriend, I will not put up with lying, cheating. I will not put up with it. You are not going to stress me out over you can't control yourself. Many of my friends tell their boyfriends, if you think you're going to have a stupid moment, you better you better leave that situation and trust and believe I'm going to leave you. You have to tell people that. You have to tell people that. Many of my friends have had amazing guys in their life and they messed up and it's like, that's the one that got away. That's the one that got away. And it's like, you know what? I've learned I'm with somebody now and the guy isn't happy because the one he loved is the one he messed up on. So well wishes. The Kardashians can learn something. Healthy and safe relationships because you don't know what that girl has trying to bring something to you along, whether she does or doesn't, not saying that, but still men have to think about you can't be kissing and hugging in the times we're in too. What? Mm -mm. Well wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Everyone, Focus on healthy and safe relationships. Men can't get mad because he was called out and found out. He made the choice to cheat. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Don't cheat. Don't lie. Have a great day, everyone.